Welcome to Rock and Rest in Peace. In this episode, we will be looking at those between the ages of 17 and 22 who died in the 2010s. Charles Haddon, also known as Charlie or Chaz, was the lead singer for the synth pop group Wella Swimming Pool. While we know that he was born and raised in Northampton, there was nothing that showed of his actual birth date or his childhood. He moved to Camden and met his group mates, Joe Hutchinson and Ken Caffney. The name of the band was inspired from a French teacher in a popular television series. The group did their first recording session in a bedroom, singing three songs and posting them to MySpace, and they seemed to become an overnight success. The band released their single, Dance the Way I Feel, in 2009. In 2010, they released three singles, and were working on their debut album, The Golden Year. They played at several festivals in 2009 and were also the support group for La Rue during their UK tour in early 2010. In the summer of 2010, they began playing a series of festivals all over Europe. On August 20, 2010, the band was performing in front of a sold-out crowd of 50,000 at the Pugel Pop Festival in Belgium. Two versions of the story in the same way. One was that Charles dove off the stage to crowd surf and the audience, taken by surprise, parted rather than accommodating him. And when he stood up from hitting the ground, he realized that he had injured a young lady with the crowd upset and emergency services tending to her. The other version was that bandmate Joe Hutchinson was the one who dove into the audience to crowd surf. The performance was cut short, and it was reported that some could hear the band arguing backstage loudly and angrily. Charles had a phone conversation with the injured fan's father. He was informed that there could be legal action taken due to the fact that the fan had a leg injury and three damaged vertebrae. He was seen drinking both beer and vodka and was very upset, worried that the young lady would not be able to walk due to the injuries. Stories first stated that Charles climbed a 60-foot satellite telecommunication mast, in the backstage artist parking lot area and jumped to his death, being found slumped on the ground. It was later clarified that after drinking heavily, he climbed the communication mast and hung himself using his belt. The coroner found that he had 197 milligrams of alcohol in his blood. The injured fan did make a full recovery, and the remaining band members finished the debut album with it releasing just weeks after his death. They also organized a festival to honor Charles, calling it Chaz Fest. The logo for this was a red top hat, which Charles was known for wearing. Many groups performed at the event, and it raised more than 8,000 pounds for the charity's Mind and Campaign Against Living Miserably, also known as Calm. A member of the group The Horrors, Ferris Badwin, dedicated his debut album Cat's Eyes in Charles' memory. Zach Sobich is a member of a firm handshake. He attended St. Croix Catholic School and then a Stillwater, Minnesota area high school. At 14, he was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a bone cancer. During his treatment, he went through 20 rounds of chemotherapy and 10 surgeries. It was not until he was diagnosed that he began writing music. In mid-2012, he was informed by his doctor that he had about a year left to live. He wrote and recorded his song, Clouds, which was about his battle with cancer. It was released on his YouTube channel in December 2012 and quickly went viral. His band recorded and released an EP, Fix Me Up, in early 2013. And 17 days after his 18th birthday, on May 20th, 2013, Zach died of complications to osteosarcoma. Several artists released tributes, and a choir of about 5,000 sang his hit song, Clouds, on December 5, 2013, at the Mall of America. It was organized by the KS95 Kids Radiothon Children's Cancer Research Fund and Gillette Children's Specialty Healthcare. His mother wrote a memoir of his life called Fly a Little Higher, how God answered a mom's small prayer in a big way. 
His family established the Zach Sobich Osteosarcoma Fund at Children's Cancer Research Fund, and in the fall of 2015, it reached $1 million, and it continues to grow. In 2016, Warner Brothers announced that they might be making a film based on his mother's book. This film was called Clouds, after his hit song, and they did do it. It was released October 16th of 2020. Go Yoon-B, called Yoon-B, was born in Seoul, South Korea. She graduated from Hanlin Multi-Art School. Her nickname was Yoon Vitamin, or B Vitamin. This was because she was so energetic and optimistic. She trained with FNC Entertainment and was supposed to debut with the group OAO, but did not feel like she was ready. She left FNC and moved to Polaris Entertainment, where she continued to train and then she debuted with the K-pop group Ladies Code in 2013. Their first mini-album, along with the lead track Bad Girl, was released March 7, 2013. Another single released was So Wonderful, and following this release was the single Kiss Kiss, released August 6, 2013. Billboard had selected them as one of the five K-pop acts to watch in 2014. On their way to Seoul on the morning of September 3rd, 2013, the rental van that the group was riding in lost its back tire on a rain-slick roadway running into a guardrail. The band manager who was driving, the stylist, and two of the band members sustained minor injuries, mainly treated for shock. Three other band members were taken to the hospital with varying degrees of injuries. So young was in serious but stable condition, with a fractured jaw and arm. Risa was in critical condition, and Yoon Bi died soon after arriving at the hospital. In November 2014, it was reported that the group's manager was arrested for having caused the fatal accident. It was shared by police that he was driving the equivalent of 84.3 miles per hour on a rain-slick highway, with the speed limit equivalent to 62.1 miles per hour and that this is what caused the accident. While he had testified that the back tire had come off of the vehicle and caused it to hit the guardrail, evidence showed that the tire fell off because of hitting the guardrail. It was also cited that the group was not wearing their seat belts at the time. Ladies Code's remaining three members took quite a bit of time to heal and mourn the death of their bandmates and friends. They began promoting again in 2016, with the announcement that they would be going back on hiatus after their contract expired on February 17, 2020. When they reached this date, it was announced that they would be going on hiatus indefinitely, and each were going to be pursuing solo careers. Please join us again for Episode 9, where we will be looking at the second part of those who died between the ages of 17 and 22 in the 2010s.